In our CNURO cloud-based platform, we have two products approved for use in Europe, the US and in Brazil. We'll start with CMRI. CMRI is a tool used for the quantification of brain MRI images. Here we have images from a progressive MCI patient. CMRI segments 133 regions of the brain and calculates the volumes of each region and compares them to normative data from about 1,500 healthy controls. It can be used for any disease where you want to quantify volumes from T1 and flare images. In CMRI, you can assess the quality of the segmentation results by checking segmentation on the images. Volumes and other imaging biomarkers are displayed on the left here. CMRI also gives percentiles to show you where that patient sits compared to the healthy controls. We have also developed disease-specific imaging markers. The anterior versus posterior index measures the difference in atrophy between the frontotemporal regions and the parieto-occipital regions, making it a useful imaging biomarker for frontotemporal dementia. Other specific imaging biomarkers are MTA and GCA. These estimate computationally the corresponding visual rating scales used widely in Europe. By selecting flare images, the tool provides the volumes of white matter hyperintensities and provides a computed Fazeca scale. You can also check segmentation here as well. If we click on reports, this has three copies. There is one detailed report for the clinician, one simplified report for communicating results to patients, and one specific report for longitudinal analysis. In CMRI, we contrast imaging biomarker values with reference data from healthy people, but of course, clinicians are interested in diagnosing what the disease is. MRI is just one piece of the diagnostic puzzle, and in diagnosing dementias, clinicians use other tests such as neuropsychology, as well as CSF samples in making the diagnosis. Let's look at another case in our CDSI tool, where DSI stands for Disease State Index. To the left, we have a dashboard with available data for this patient, which includes results from CSF samples, neuropsychology tests, genetic markers, and biomarkers taken from CMRI. CDSI is a machine learning tool which has been trained with data from previously diagnosed patients. The tool compares the patient to previous cases and measures how similar the patient is to previously diagnosed Alzheimer's, frontotemporal dementia, vascular dementia, and cognitively normal cases. This particular case is pointing towards Alzheimer's as Alzheimer's has the highest DSI value. Although CDSI is based on machine learning, it is not a black box. You can explore why Alzheimer's is the most likely diagnosis based on the data. As the tool is suggesting that Alzheimer's followed by frontotemporal dementia are the most likely two diagnostic groups, let's contrast these two groups. The red distribution on the right is all the previously diagnosed Alzheimer cases, and the blue distribution on the left is all the previously diagnosed frontotemporal dementia cases, and the yellow line is your patient. You can then review how all the available data contributes to the suggestion that Alzheimer's is the most likely case by reviewing the individual contribution of each biomarker. The size of the box tells us what the importance of this particular biomarker is in differentiating between the two disease groups. Amyloid beta CSF marker has a large box size, meaning that it is an excellent biomarker in differentiating between Alzheimer's and frontotemporal dementia. On the other hand, the color of the box tells you which distribution, red or blue, the patient's value fits best. If I look at this amyloid beta marker, the biomarker value of this patient is inconclusive as it sits just in the middle of the distributions and therefore the color of the box is white. If we click on tau, we can see that none of the previously diagnosed frontal temporal dementia cases had this value and the box is red, indicating that it fits better to the Alzheimer's group. So as much as this is an AI and machine learning tool, it allows you to see exactly why it is pointing to one particular disease over another and how strongly, enabling you to scrutinize the data. There is also a progression model here, so you can compare your patient to stable versus progressive MCI to assess the risk of your patient progressing towards dementia. Thank you.